So this is the image I'm going to use. I am on Pixel Studio. So now I'm going to duplicate this layer, right click on it, and then duplicate. And now make sure you're on the move tool, and then right click on the layer, select transform, and then select flip horizontal. And now select the transform tab here, left click here. If you don't have the transform tab here, just go to window, general, and then check the transform. So now select the top layer we just flipped. I'm going to change here the transform to start from the center, left click here. And then in the R here, this is the rotation. I'm going to double click and then type minus 90, press enter. So here it is. And now make sure here the snapping is checked. And now we are on the move tool and I'm just going to align the top right corners here of both layers. So here it is. And now I need to make a selection here from this corner here, from here to here, and then close it. So I'm going to use the pen tool for that. Select the pen tool. I'm going to select the navigator here. I'm going just to zoom out. I'm going to left click here and then left click here and then here and then just close it. Now I'm going to remove the color fill. So just left click here and then click on this icon here. And now I'm going to select the node tool and then adjust. So I'm going to zoom in a little bit. So I just want my path here to go exactly where this layer here ends. So now I'm going to go to the top here. So for this one, I'm just going to move it a little bit like this. So it will go exactly, it will cross it like this. So now I'm just going to zoom out using navigator here. And now let's select the pen tool again, left click. And now I'm going to make a mask here from the curve. So this is going to keep what's inside my curve here and remove or mask everything that's outside. So I'm just going to click on mask. So here it is. So now I'm just going to remove this boat here. Make sure you select the layer, not the mask. Select the layer. And now I'm going to left click here. And then, for example, I will select the patch tool. I'm going to make selection here around the boat. Like this. And now I'm just going to replace it. So I think I'm going to replace it with this one. Left click. And then left click a second time. And now for this part here, I'm just going to use the in-paint brush tool. So here are settings I'm using. So I think I'm going to leave it here like this. So now I need to make selection here of this layer here. So hold the control key down and then left click on the layer. So here it is. We have created the selection. And now I just want to keep the water here. I want to remove the rocks here and the sky. So I'm going to left click here and then select the selection brush tool. I'm going to change the mode here to subtract. And now I'm just going to paint here over the areas here I want to remove. So for example, if you want to add an area, just click on mode here, click on add and then left click. So I think I'm going to leave it here. And now while this selection is active, I'm going to add a new fill layer. So go to pixel and then select new fill layer. Now we can't see anything because the opacity is zero. Make sure that the opacity is 100%. I'm going to change the type here to linear. So now, as you can see, my tool changed into the fill tool. And now I'm just going to adjust the handles here and then change the color. So I'm going to place the gradient like this. I'm going to left click on this point here. Left click on the colors here. I'm going to left click here. Left click on the color. I'm going to change it to black. I want to make the top black. And for the bottom, I want to make it white. So left click on this color, left click, and then select the white color. And now I just want to adjust the gradient here to be kind of straight so here it is and now i just need to change the layer mode here of the fill layer to multiply so this will darken the water here because of the black color and the white color won't be visible so i'm just going to adjust it here to make it straight and now let's change the mode here of the new fill layer to multiply now i'm going to select the move tool here to exit from the fill tool. Now I'm going to remove my selection, go to pixel selection and then deselect. And now I'm just going to reduce the opacity here to reduce the effect. So like this, you can still, for example, if you select the fill tool, you can still, for example, adjust the gradient like this. 
so I'm going to leave it here now let's select the move tool so I'm going to zoom in a little bit on the navigator here I'm just going to move this slider to the right and now I'm going to right click on the top layer and then select merge visible to create a new layer from what's visible on the canva here and now left click on the three dots here and then let's select color grading I'm going to left click here and now I'm just going to adjust a little bit here the colors and the contrast here of this layer so I'm going to increase a little bit the exposure I'm going to increase a little bit the contrast here so I'm going to darken the shadows so for the highlights I'm going to leave them here now let's scroll down for the saturation I'm going to bring the saturation a little bit down for the white balance temperature I'm going to move it to the blue here and for this one I'm going to move it to the green and now I'm just going to increase the clarity so we'll sharpen the layer so I think I'm going to leave it here and I'm just going to move back to the pixel studio left click 